Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Guys, it is early. This is like the earliest I've been up in a minute. It is 7 o'clock. I'm downstairs already. I ordered Wawa DoorDash. I keep laughing because somebody on YouTube was like, oh my god, they even have a, a gas station called Went Went. And I was like, Went Went? You mean Wawa? So yeah, I ordered, <laughs> I thought it was so funny, I called it, went, went. Okay, so yeah, I ordered DoorDash from Wawa, because right now, like I said, it's like a latte. Um, and I came up on it because I needed coffee and I didn't want to take the kids anywhere. So I looked on DoorDash and they only people have like free delivery. So, and they had lattes. So I tried it, it was actually pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So that's why I'm getting my lattes from right now. Everybody's asleep. King of sleep, Roman sleep, rat sleep. Everyone sleep. Um, so I was like, well, let me go downstairs and I need to clean this place up. I need to make um, some of the shirts. There's a lot to do here. Um, and the days that Keenan is off are the days that I can actually do them. So I want to do that. Um, I'm probably going to make the vinyl shirts that I was supposed to make in the live last night. I cut all the vinyl in the live. But then Riley uh, needed to be put to bed, so I had to just go ahead and cut the live a little short, although it was an hour. <laughs> but cut the live short and go put her to bed. So I do have to make those. I already turned on the heat press because it takes about 20 minutes to heat up all the way. So I heated that up. Um, what else do I have to do? I do have a few shirts I can make. Um, like I said, I'm always trying to get my Etsy to zero so that I can just completely like turn off Etsy mode and turn on creative mode and just start making new stuff um i don't know i'm weird i don't like having etsy having to do etsy orders and make stuff at the same time i just want to just focus on making things so again like i've been saying for like the last 15 videos i'm just trying to get my etsy orders done so that i can focus on the new stuff um i do have a huge order um from bb crafts coming today it's all tool i don't know where in the heck i'm gonna put this tool because the garage the shelves you already put up are full so I'm trying to figure out where to put the, uh, if I should put the other ribbon out there too or what I should do. I'm trying to figure that out, trying to get it as organized as possible. But Keenan wants his, uh, that thing, the treadmill. He wants that treadmill in the garage. That thing's huge. So it's taking up some, some real estate in there. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do it. Um, I'm not really sure though. So that's what I'm working with today. Um, you guys said you wanted just more angela life videos or how how i run things what do i do and just a video in general so you know hope i can distract you guys a little bit but you'll be more distracted by the mess in my house because y'all keep saying that but it's okay um i have children and i'm messy this creativity is messy having orders is messy like that's just the truth um and you clean as you go and you clean as you can and that's what i'm gonna do certain days i clean some days it's gonna mess and i just run away and go upstairs so i don't have to see it but um it'll get cleaned maybe maybe i think when i have the garage done it'll make it easier because i literally have packing boxes all over the floor in here i have like um you know when you pull the things off the wrapper um off the off the mailers those pieces are everywhere so that's really what it is. Let's see. Okay, my food is well, being made right now. So yeah. So let me go ahead and I don't know if this the heat press will be heated up in time before the food gets here to make those few shirts, but I'm gonna try. Um, I'm gonna go set up this shirt. I think it's already on here because I made the design like a few days ago. But a lot of you guys want to know how the alliance works because it you have multiple colors, but it's only one needle. It's very similar to the P800. Um, so this is the button you click for your USB. And then you wait. And then it pops up. It's one Amelia. And you see that it's this way, but I need it to go the other way. Um, so I'm going to click set. Rotate. There you go. And then click OK. Um, so I already adjusted all the colors on my uh, embroidery software, but to give you an example, 
It's actually going to stitch off the name first, which is about to make me mad because I didn't mean for it to stitch off the name first, but it's already done. So, so do the name first and then let me click embroidery. Um, I move everything all the way up. Okay, so stitch off the name first and right here it tells you how fast it will be going. And this traces, um, so, okay, so I'm just going to go through all of them. This means, like, change, next color, next color, next color, the plus. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. Sorry, I know this is moving so much because I'm holding it, but you see the top screen where it says right here. It's going to do the name. After the name, it's going to do the... Uh, stitch the placement stitch for the fabric in number one, then the tack down stitch, then the out the satin outline, then the outline for mini, tack down stitch, satin stitch, tack the uh, placement stitch, tack down stitch, final stitch. So you can always hit uh, zero. How do I show you guys? Okay, zero that just resets it. Um, so yeah, so it just shows you how it's gonna go. Um, I need more paint because that's not gonna even cut it remotely. <laughs> but um, I usually only switch the colors. I'll start with pink and I'll keep using the pink until it starts doing satin um, because you're not gonna see it um, because it, it it doesn't matter. It's like the placement stitch and tack down stitch because it's a satin stitch is the final stitch. It covers whatever um, I put down for the. Uh, the placement and tack down. Hope I didn't confuse anybody and I hope that makes sense. Um, my food should probably be here soon. Let me check. Ooh, I'm yellow. Please fix. Please fix. I don't want to be yellow. Dang, so they're going to leave me yellow. Okay, they're on their way four minutes ago. It says they'll be here in 13 minutes, which seems a little long because it's not even 13 minutes away. It's eight minutes away. Focus on me. Oh my god, I look like a Oompa Loompa. Can this change back to normal colors? I guess not. Okay, well, let me go ahead and hook this shirt um, and change the pink color. So, I changed the pink. Oops. Change the pink color. Where's my Tahara's? Yep, I just said it like that. Okay, so this pink, I can keep it for like something that needs a, a tiny bit of pink, maybe if it's like a mouth or something. Yes, I'm keeping it. And here's another pink that's pretty much empty. All my new threads are already on, on, on this shelf on the bottom, but I'm trying to use it. Well, actually, let me, I'll just use it. Don't be cheap, Angela. I'll try to like save threads, but I mean, $7. Oh my gosh, keep dropping it. And you usually can tie it so that you could just slide it straight through versus having to uh, sit there and re-re-thread it all the way. I'm gonna thread the needle. I don't use this machine often. I haven't used it often. I've ordered it like two days ago, but I've only done like... Um, a shirt or two. Oh, see, now it's going to be in six minutes. Yeah, and it just said 13 minutes about a minute ago. Okay, so I'm going to check what size this is so I can hurry up and hoop it and hopefully have the name stitching while DoorDash comes. Let me check. Let's see. Shop dashboard. Where is this shirt? Okay, 18 month t shirt, Amelia. Yes, yeah, so I also need to put these blanks away. I have so many blanks, boutique blanks over here. A huge box. Yes. I need to hurry up and do this shirt. And this is on the 5x7 hoop. Ooh. 
was my phone set? Okay, that was the fastest seven minutes ever because it says they'll be here in one minute. They must have been full. They must have a private jet. What in the world? Literally, it's been two, maybe three minutes. I'd say maximum three minutes. I told you guys it was going to be 13 minutes. My goodness. They're fast. All right. Let's see who's faster. Who? Let me hook the shirt. Hook the shirt. Hook the shirt. Who? Who? I went to stitch the name. Run, Angela. Run. Ah, hurry up, Angela. Hurry up. I gotta hurry up. I gotta hurry up. Oh my god, he's on my street. He's on my street. Ah! Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, put it in, put the stabilizer in. Ah! Put the stabilizer in. Ah! Run, run, Forrest, run. Oh, okay, let's start the name. Oh, lock. Oh, double check everything. Hurry up, Angela. Start, 18 more t-shirt. Yeah, 18 more t-shirt, cool. Okay, I made it. The night room shit. Yes, that's what they have. Happened to their children's toilet over the floor. Alright, so they're here. Let me get my food to eat some food to get some energy relief latte. Alright, they're here. I finished eating. Um, I got like a what is it? A not a burrito, wow. Hey. Egg and cheese, egg, cheese, and ham sub thingy, bobber. I got my dulce de leche coffee latte thingy. Okay, so I said it was on stitch the name first, so it did the name. So now let me make sure I dance stitch through. Okay, we're good. And I'm gonna lock start, and it's gonna do the outline for the one. Unless I see, I'm still doing it in pink just so that I don't keep switching colors. Um, the other shirt. Well, let me see if I have the fabric for this. I like, you probably see me do, I like to uh, heat and bond a whole bunch of this at once so that I can just keep using it. But I'm going to heat and bond over and over and over again. I like to save my time. So, I'm going to wait until um, that's done. And then I'm going to heat and bond, not heat and bond, I'm gonna put the fabric on it. And then I'm going to go work on those two uh, Young Wild 3 vinyl shirts. It'll be my first time making an order on the new heat press. I've been using it um, just a tender touch and to the heat monster, but I haven't used it to make shirts. I'm so excited. Can't you tell? Can't you tell? I think I'm going to do a video um, doing all my merch shirt. Oh, it's blurry. Okay, well, I'm going to move it. But, um, I'm going to do a video. Let me put this on. Unless I can show you guys. I'm trying to put it on. Okay, and again, I'm going to leave it the same thread pink just because it's not the final stitching. But this one is going to be pink anyways because that's the outline stitch. But, um, so I think I'm going to do a shirt. Oh, shirt. Wow. I think I'm going to do a video where I make all my merch shirts. Um, I was going to do this a long time ago, but my heat press was, it was just, it, it was missing the screw and it wasn't working right. So making the merch shirts took a little longer than I would have liked. So I have two huge boxes of Bella Canvas shirts. So I'm just going to go ahead and make all the merch shirts. And once they are gone, they're gone. Um, that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm probably going to use the new. Um, I have to use a new heat press, so it should be pretty quick. It's probably at least 150, I think, yeah, 150 shirts that I have um, to make, so that'll probably be its own video, and yeah, or maybe a live, I don't know, maybe a video. All right, so now it did the placement, uh, the tack down stitch, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Wee, wee, wee. Okay. Let's go ahead. Does anybody else? Does anybody else do this with their scissors to know which ones are the crappy scissors? I hate when I get like new scissors and they're already like stuck together. I like the loose scissors. The other ones, I feel like they get stuck to the uh, to the shirt and to the fabric, and that makes me so mad. So mad. I like to be able to move them freely. 
But I guess you would like to, oh, if you would like to buy this shirt, you can get it at kidscustomdesigns.com. This is the red color. Heather Red. There's you go, and let's put it back on the machine. And again, like I said, I'm gonna keep the pink on there. I'm still not gonna switch it because, well, this is gonna do the outline satin stitch and pink anyways. So after this step, I'm still gonna leave the pink on there. Lock start. So it's, this is like what, step four, and I still haven't changed the color. Alright, so now we are going to go do the vinyl shirts. I need to grab the shirts I need. The one's a 3T and the other one's a 4T. Is this a 3T? Yes, this is a 3T. And I need a 4T. Okay, you got 3T and a 4T. Oh, that scared me. You children's talking toys ever scare you? Oh, this is the uh, Tiffany blue color. So this is one of the new colors we have. You can get this at kidscustomdesigns.com. If I find the coral around here, I'll go ahead and show you the coral. Coral. I love that color. Okay. Let me put this away because Riley, she calls this gift wrap. And she wraps all her stuff in it. And then I'm having to buy more because she ruins it. But... Hey, I'd rather play with that than something dangerous. I'd rather not play with it at all, honestly. But, I gotta pick your battle sometimes. Okay, so, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna work over here because usually the heat press was like this way. And I used to be able to put the vinyl here, but that's not about to happen. So, I did weave this yesterday. I need to find the black scissors. But if I can't find them, I'm just gonna have to use my good scissors and cry. But it's okay. Um, let me go ahead and weed both of these. Here is my weeding tool. Someone said they had, uh, what is it, Harbor Frightened Tools? Is that what it's called? I believe so. Um, they have something very similar for, for like 274, I think it was. So, I'm trying to figure out how to set this up because this is pretty tall. You see? And I don't think this is, oh, it might work. It might work. It might, ow, I just burnt my arm. Might be on to something as long as it doesn't fall. Hmm, is this hot yet? Okay, we'll put it in. Just let it heat it for a second and pull it back out. And then place this on here. I got so much space and then rub it so that the heat goes on it so it peels a lot easier. It's like it makes it a little more stretchy so it's easier to weave. And then we get these pieces out. So yeah, that this is my trick for weeding. Um, Cause stalls, at, they have a weeding table, but all it does is heat up the vinyl. It's like $500, or when I saw it, it was $500. I don't know if it's still $500. And I was like, no, 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 no. So I have been using my heat press like that since. And this one just makes it easier because it's like a table. And I can't burn my hand because it's not like a clamp one. And it's a much bigger. So, yeah. I like this one. Okay. Purple is done. 
And let me get the other one. We're gonna scoot this back in. Heat it for a second. And pull back out. And then rub this on to get it nice and warm. And then start the wrong side. Start reading. That was easy. And let's pull. Let's pull. One, two, three. Okay. So everything is weeded. Everything is weeded. And now I just have to cut it all out if I can find my good scissors. If not, I'm going to use the good scissors. Where are my... No, I put that down the wrong way. Where are my scissors? I haven't seen those scissors in a minute. Let's find some scissors. Are you here? Are you here? Nope, but the other shirt stopped. But if it's tough, that means I need gold. Okay, I need to use these scissors to cut some gold. Gold glitter. So let's cut some gold glitter. For the shirt that's oh, it fell. For the shirt that's in there, the shirt that's in there. <sighs> okay, so now let me check my phone see if I have any important messages. Nope. Okay, so it finished. Let me see if it stitched through. Nothing good didn't stitch through. So it um finished the one. So now it's gonna do the outline of the mini head. And again, I'm leaving it pink because. It's not the last satin stitch. You only switch on this when it's the final satin stitching. So obviously the mini head is going to be gold. So obviously then I'll change it. But right now I'm still keeping it. So it's going to stitch out the placement stitch for the mini. But I'm trying to find my scissors. But I don't see them anywhere. I don't see... Ooh, I've drank some coffee before. No. I look like a person. That's so creepy. It creeps me out when I'm on camera. I'm like, oh! It's okay, Angela. Alright, so this is the heat transfer vinyl. This is glitter heat transfer vinyl. I use the Caesar brand S I S E R. You can get it on Amazon if you want. Um, the other good brand is also the Stalls Stalls brand called Glitter Flake. Those are the only two I trust. Because to me, Cricut's br Cricut one, I never uh, recommend buying Cricut, any of their Cricut vinyl because it's overpriced. Um, but if you want to, it's up to you. In an emergency, sure. Um, so Stalls, Glitter Flake, or Caesar Glitter. Those are the only two I use, period. Okay, so, oh dang, I just did that. I guess you guys saw me. Peel the, so, uh, the plastic casing off just if you're doing embroidery. If you're using it for for actual heat transfer, you don't peel the the thing off, the glitter, not the glitter, the casing off. Okay, back to this. So here is the uh, placement stitch. You can kind of see it, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this over. And with glitter, I like to hold it hold it while it stitches the first stitch, um, just so that it secures it in place because I don't want it to like bunch up, move. Um, and again, I'm leaving this pink. Because I don't have to switch it yet. Because this is not the satin stitching. This is not the border. This is just a tack down stitch. So it shows me where to cut. So I'm going to go ahead and lock start. And again, I'm going to hold it for a few seconds. Alright. And it's going to sew that. And I still haven't found my scissors. Scissors. I probably won't find my scissors, honestly. It's heat and bond light, get it? It's linked down below. It's important. You need it for applique. Ooh. Okay. Just trying to see if I can find it. 
Right, we gotta love her. She packages things in boxes. And I find my threads in there. I find things I lost months ago in there. Yeah. Okay. So now it did the tack down stitch, so it shows me where to cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. Let me go get it. And I'm gonna cut it. I guess this is kind of a tutorial. I didn't plan for it to be, but I guess this is kind of a tutorial on using a Baby Lock Alliance machine. Um, so I guess I'll explain it. These scissors are the Fiskars Curved Scissors. They, to me, they're the only scissors that work for cutting appliques. Um, I tried so many scissors. And you can get these at Walmart or they're linked down below from Amazon. Um, I would never recommend buying them from Joann's. You can, but Joann sells them overpriced. If you have like a 50% off coupon, then yes, buy it from Joann's. Um, I get these from Amazon or Walmart. They're seven, like 98 from Walmart. And you want to cut as close as you can to the line. Also, something else is sometimes I do it. You cut into the stitching and then it'll be like, oh man, I cut it and there's like a piece of the shirt showing like you cut it too far over the stitching um what i usually do is i'll put it back on the machine and still sew the satin border to see if it will cover it because the satin border is a lot thicker than this uh tack down stitch so i always do that just in case to see if i could save the shirt um so you never want to throw the shirt away right away just try to keep going and see if it um, covers it just so that uh you save the shirt so this is what we're looking like so far and now is when I will change the color because this step is now going to do the outline of this in gold. So now I will change the color. So, so far how many color changes have we done? One. This will be color change two. Well it really wasn't a color change because gold was already, I mean pink was already on the machine but you know what I mean. Alright, I can't put this on the machine and hold y'all at the same time. So please hold. Whew. can still see me what the heck I never noticed there was a vent what is that over there oh that's the window I'm an idiot okay so it's on cool and now I gotta add gold up here so I'll take white to off and put the gold on and I'm gonna go ahead so when you do this you want to cut from the front so if the thread comes up the back and into the front so you want to cut from the front so that it still stays threaded through this. Holy thimabobber. So. Go ahead and cut from the front. And then I got to thread the gold through the hole. Okay, now we have the gold coming through the back. And then, like I said, we are just going to tie it. And then we're just gonna pull it, pull it through, and then tie it. All right. All right. So I'm going to lock start, and it's gonna do the outline of that. And I didn't find my good scissors. So, just gonna have to use these. I don't know where they are. I bet I'll find them after I need them. Oh. Man, there's so much children's toys. Oh. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the vinyl.
pink has been cut. Okay, all the vinyl's cut now, and the machine stopped. Oh, that didn't sound good. Didn't sound good. It sounded like a tread, trim sensor error, wiper error. Okay, and it's a wiper error. Um, so my machine has a wiper error issue but it's not even a big deal it's like the thread will get stuck when it tries to wipe and then it pulls back there but it it's, literally does nothing i just have to move the thread so okay so now that is done make sure it's stitched through cool didn't and now what we're gonna do is the outline for the bow if you can see that's what it's gonna do now so i'm gonna go ahead leave it gold and I'm going to just lock start it. I guess I'm trying to avoid as many color changes as I can. At this point, you could switch to pink because it's going to be pink stitching anyways. But I just try to keep going. Okay. So now it has done the outline for the bow. I don't know if you can see it on camera. So then I am going to go ahead and put this on. And leave it gold. So you lock start. This bow. Well, I need to make sure I wipe this tape down because now there is, you know, like water stains from the coffee. Don't want nothing on my shirt. Like it. So now we're gonna.
No, we're gonna put it back on the machine. And we're gonna switch the color to pink, the thread to pink, because this needs a pink outline. Okay, so how many times have we changed the color? We started with pink, we changed the gold, and now we're going back to pink, and that's it. So we've only changed the color three times. And I can also, um, well, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, so I'll go ahead and change the color. Remember, you, you're going to pull it from the front, cut, and then you're going to tie it with the front of the pink. And you're just going to tie it. Okay, and then move this off the way. You're going to pull it through. And push the thread button under the needle. And now it is pink. And this is the final step. See right here. It's, there's no more colors underneath. So obviously it's the final step. And it's showing you it's going to do the satin border for that. And that is it. So it's going to do that. And I'm going to go back out here. For these shirts. All my mailing boxes all over the floor. Also, I need to move this, keep this out of the reach of children. Um, Alright, so now I gotta make these shirts. So I'll do the three T first. So, I always want to heat it first. That gets all the moisture out of the shirt and it just lets you heat better. Riley just woke up because I hear feet coming. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and heat it. For like three seconds is fine. You just smooth all the wrinkles out smooth all the wrinkles out and then now we're going to start putting the vinyl on so young is first and it is centered okay young so I'm gonna go in and heat it for like three seconds Done. Now we're gonna do a wild. Wild goes up as a slant, and then there's like the other little pieces in the design that I like to put up. Like you guys know, I always say try to save as much time as possible. So three seconds again. So we can put the little pieces of the arrow on. And the word three. Also, make sure there's no hair. If you have hair like mine that just sheds like crazy, when it's in your vinyl, you're screwed. <laughs> so make sure you get it out. Okay, Young Wild 3. Keep that. 3 seconds. Okay, okay. that's not straight. Sorry, my hands on the way. So 
piece of hair right there. Okay, so all these pieces are on here. I'm going to heat it for three seconds. Okay, and then I'm going to heat it for another 10 seconds just as the final press. Okay, so that is done now. It's finished. And like I said, I like this table because I could just literally use it to fold the shirt. Fold it because I have great folding skills. Boom, fold it. Woohoo. Right. Now we're going to go back to the other shirt and show you that. So it says it's finished embroidering, so that means it's done. And I like to double check to make sure nothing's sewed under. Cool. I don't usually check like the bigger shirts, um, but for like 18 months, I always check if it feels like it's a tight fit. So with this machine, you have the 8x8 hoop. So the 8x8, I usually do 40 and up with it. So 40, I do definitely check on the 8x8. I try to stretch my shirts out when I put them on the machine after I hoop them. So yeah, so that is how you embroider a applique. And don't switch your colors as much. You save time. Because like I said, we only switched colors three times. Pink to, to gold back to pink. So that is it. A lot of people think you have to like change change it every time the machine tells you to change it. Like every time it stops. But no. You only need to change it for your outline border as long as it is a satin stitching. Um. So yeah. Here it is. So I'm going to end this video here. I'll probably record another video for to have for something else. After this, maybe like garage video because there needs to be an update on that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope this helped some of you guys out with this machine. Um, I know a lot of people have questions on this machine. So it's a Baby Lock Alliance. There is the brother version, which is the brother persona. They're both um, one needle machines. So either one, they pretty much run exactly the same because they are made in the same factory. They're just two brothers that own brother and baby lock. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!